Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about integration and specifically we're going to talk about the questions that might appear in the HSC. Th these on the... Uh, basically I've summed it down to five or six categories and all most integration, not all, most integration questions will fall into these categories so I'm just going to go through them one by one. Now starting off with the first one, now this is a fairly easy question with the standard integration so with if I, if I have a x to the 4, for example, simply add 1 over here and then divide by the same number. Same thing with the, the 3x becomes the x squared and then divide by 2. So, and then of course you have the plus x. Now, one thing that you really, really sh shouldn't forget to do is to do the plus c. If you don't, you might lose half a mark. Moving on. Uh, so we come to this x cubed plus x squared on 2x. So what we have is a polynomial on another polynomial. As soon as you see that the polynomial on top, the power, so when I say the power, the, the, um, the power of x, the highest power of x is greater than the highest power down here, which is 1, you should uh, divide it. First of all, divide it and then do the question. So that's what I've done over here. I have x cubed divided by 2x and x squared divided by 2x. So remember, when it's like this, you can spread it up into 2. And once, and once you do that, I end up with half x squared plus half x. Now, this one, it's a start, again, the standard integration, so you should be able to do that. Now, if I make this question slightly harder and say, okay, I have... Uh, what, what would I do if I had x cubed x cubed plus x all over x squared plus 1 now to do this question what you need to do is this thing called uh, polynomial division so if you've done long division it's, uh, you have to do this part x, well you don't have to but so this should be x cubed but it will help a lot so for example, to do this question, I would end up with uh, x squared goes to x cubed, well, x times, right? I end up with x cubed plus x, right? So, so this, this question it narrows, narrows down to equals x. And th that, was, that was a really simple, simple um, example, but there are harder questions. But we're not going to focus on that today. Okay, the, the next kind of question that you get is, is this one where you have a, a polynomial multiplied by another polynomial. So to do this question it it's really worth um, checking if one differentiated now one differentiated gets you the other. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. Now if you look at this question the most complex part is probably this section, right? So, if I differentiate this part, if I say u is equal to uh, either two, either x to the 5 or even 2x to the 5, right? So, over here I've done u x to the 5. When you differentiate, I get 5x to the 4, right? Now, if I had said u is equal to 2x to the 5 minus 1, u dash is equal to 10x to the 4, right? So, as soon as you see that this is simply this differentiated, all you need to do is, is concentrate on, on this part only. So you can pretty much forget about this one and worry about just the 2x to the 5 minus 1 squared. Sorry, this is squared over up here. So, when you integrate it, you, you end up getting 2x to the 5 minus 1 to the power of 3 all over 3. Right? See, see, all I did, all I did was add one, add 1 here and then divide by the same number. Okay, easy. Alright, now, this again, so this is, this time it's not a polynomial times a polynomial, but the same principle is applied. You look, you, you try to look at, a, I guess, a complicated part, a complex part of, of this thing, and ask yourself the question, if I differentiate one thing, do I get the other? Or at least something that looks similar. 
So for example, over here, if I let u equals x squared, I will, and I differentiate it, I end up getting 2x. Now, it's not 2x over here, but it's, it's similar, right? It's, it's just an x. So what we're going to do is this integration, we're going to say it's the same as, I'm going to introduce the 2, and then, so now we have a 2x, but because I introduced it, I need to get rid of it using this half. All right, so those two will cancel out, but we're going to leave it inside here. So integrating that, I will end up with a half ex squared, and of course, don't forget your plus c. Okay, now the third kind of question, a, a polynomial on a polynomial. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. If the power is less, so before we did a polynomial on a polynomial, but this time the power is smaller. So this is two x to the power of one. This is x to the power of two. So the power of the small of the upper the numerator polynomial is smaller than the one at the denominator. I can tell you, as soon as you see something like this, it's probably going to be a log, right? It's most probably going to be a log thing, right? Not always, but sometimes. It can be. So what I'm going to say this time, my complicated part, my complex part, I guess, is u equals x squared plus 1. Again, similar story. Ask yourself, if I differentiate one thing, will I get the other? So this time, u dash is 2x. And that's exactly what we have up here. All right. So therefore, when we integrate this, we get this thing, ln x squared plus 1. If you, if you want to check, check it, differentiate this part differentiate this part and see what you get. So if I differentiate this, rem remember with logs differentiated, whatever's inside goes to the bottom. So without even thinking about it, you just go x squared plus 1. And on the numerator, you differentiate this, 2x. Right? So this 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 differentiated. Right? So it's, everything's good. OK, now, I said, I think I said almost always. So it's not always the case as a log. Because if, if you have something like this, to the, again, it's the same thing, but this time I've changed it slightly to go have, have a power of 2 at the bottom. So this time it's actually not going to be a log. So yes, x squared plus 1 differentiated is still 2x. But this time, it's going to be, this, this question, I can rewrite it as 2x times x squared plus 1 to the power of minus 2. Okay, so because of that, what I need to do is this time add plus 1 and divide by that number. So that's why I end up getting a minus 1 divided by minus 1. Okay, so the, the difference between this question and the last question that we did was over here, this entire polynomial wasn't raised to the power of anything. Over here, the polynomial is raised to the power of 2. So if you see a polynomial raised to the power of something, then it's going to be something like this. If it's simply just a polynomial without any power, then it's probably going to be a log. Okay, well, I hope that, I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave any comments. Let me know which, what more videos you want me to do. But uh, good luck for HSC.